Scorpio. Let's do Scorpio for June 24th to the 30th. Let's see what Scorpio is up to. Okay, Scorpio, in your past, something came in very, very fast and brought you with it a lot of heartbreak in your past. Uh, it may have involved a marriage, so we'll clarify that in a minute. I do not think it's a divorce because in your present We've got the world, we've got Ten of Cups, we've got all the good things here. So uh, you might be dealing with a Taurus here or an Earth sign, but I, th I do think it's a Taurus because you've got the Hierophant in the, fa in the past also. Um, I think in the present moment you are in a good place with this person. Um, you see them as your perfect pair, uh, you may be married to them, it's a perfect kind of relationship or that's what it's feeling like for you or that's what it's looking like or that's what it is. Um, in the future, the future, somebody's walking away from something. Um, and it's leaving the other person very, very sad and very depressed and very disappointed. Um, and this person here, I feel like someone's very undecided. Either there's going to be a choice or somebody's going to make someone choose between two people. And because of their indecision, somebody is walking away from that person that can't decide. Let's clarify things. Let's see what's going on here. I want to see what this heartbreak is all about in the past. I'm curious like that. So, what is this heartbreak for Scorpio? Who broke Scorpio's heart? How dare you? Or, Scorpio, if you broke somebody's heart, how dare you? Who broke whose heart? Don't break hearts anymore. All right. The world's coming in um, two times. One time in the past, one time in the present. Um, the world talks about completion of cycles. So whatever that was in the past, something ended. Um, it could be a situation. It doesn't have to be a whole marriage. It could be a situation. Okay. Uh, I see that um, this heartbreak involved some sort of a... Um, there's a lot of... Somebody here is very, very confused doesn't know what to choose they have options they cannot make up their mind on something and it causes heartbreak left and right here i feel there was a um some sort of a proposition to start something with someone in the past 
and that person couldn't decide and that person stayed in this energy of you know what i'm not gonna do anything i'm just gonna be here for whatever comes to me i'm not gonna take action on anything and i feel like that cycle has ended um either that person finally made a choice or you got tired of waiting and you walked away that might be the chariot you galloping the hell out of there uh, maybe possibly or just dropping the situation completely you know let's see in the present everything looks fine in the present moment uh, where you know two people are looking happy um, the world is here maybe it's let's clarify the world in the present moment because that could be that could refer to beginning beginnings or endings uh mostly endings but it could involve people moving somewhere uh traveling somewhere and moving that's a new beginning <clears throat> So I see you, Scorpio, with this King of Pentacles, which is your Taurus person, or an Earth sign, but usually it's a Taurus. Um, you've had some struggles. You may have, have had some fights. You may have had things like that happening in between you. But with the world here, I feel like that's ended. And you get to the Ten of Cups, where things are perfect between you you're happy you're looking pretty solid here let's look at the future let's look at the future what is leaving somebody very 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 depressed and very dissatisfied because it looks like there's a decision here again there's a choice here that won't doesn't look like it's gonna be made Okay. Um, this person here, whoever can decide, they might get to a place where they're going to feel very, very sad, very depressed, very burdened. I feel Scorpio either they're dealing with somebody else here or they're going to get this blindfold off and get into the power, their own power, King of Wands, it may be a fire sign here. Or even the Empress, Empress, which is, you know, the symbol of um, a very secure woman, very, she knows what she wants, she's very loving, she's very, she's got all the qualities that you could think of for a mother, a wife, everything. So they might, with patience and time, they might get out of this situation where they feel like they cannot choose. Or they are dealing with somebody else. And I don't know if you know it or not. They see that person as this empress. But let's clarify some more. Let's see. Let's see what this Five of Cups is in your future. So somebody's... It's kind of repetitive uh, from the past. Something It looks like something from the past is repeating. The Chariot is here. Somebody really, really, really is going to rush 
out of something into a new beginning that brings the Ten of Cups, which you have in your present. Somebody here is going to chase that and somebody's going to be left behind. Somebody's going to be left depressed and sad and Let's see if there's another person. Let's see if we can figure it out. Because I feel like... Um, up until the future part, things looked pretty balanced here in between two people. In the future, it looks like something's going on where somebody else may show up. Now don't go looking through your partner's phone and things like that. That may not be the case. That may be this person having all of a sudden developing two personalities where they can make a choice on something. So it may not be a third person. It may be just one person uh, not being able to decide. Uh, let's see who's leaving what behind. There's a lot of indecision, a lot of, I don't know what to choose in this situation. Whenever this shows up like this, where things are balanced, things are looking like everything's happy, um, everybody's happy. Um, two people here are in a committed relationship and things are balanced. There's fights here and there, but everything's cool. But when this shows up over and over again, over and over the two of swords is here twice two of pentacles is here somewhere three of cups is here that's usually sometimes and most of the times refer refers to a third party four of cups is here um four of cups five of cups that's sadness. That's somebody leaving something behind. Uh, somebody's leaving. I don't know who, but it involves this. The lovers, which is a very faded couple. Um, I think this is what's going on here. Either you or your person has met somebody they have a very deep connection with. It's not looking like they're going to leave you or your marriage or your commitment or but it gets them very, very confused or you. This might be you. It's not necessarily your partner. Um, so because all of this mess came up in your future, let's see if there's some advice for you, Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. So the advice here, Scorpio, for you, the Three of Swords, uh, the Three of Swords uh, came up again. The Three of Swords came up again for you, Scorpio. Um, there is heartbreak, there is pain somewhere here for someone. But you've got the Emperor here, so uh, either... Um, and you've got the Ace of Wands. So there is a new beginning. And this fool is taking a leap of faith. Either someplace else. Either they're staying and fighting. And going through this whole pain. That's caused by the Three of Swords here. And I think the advice is. To be in this power. To own this power. To be confident. To know exactly what you want. And go get it. There's going to be pain. There's going to be struggle. There's going to be this and that. It's clearly stated here but if you want to take that leap of faith if you want something else someplace else with the ace of wands here maybe there's a new beginning for you someplace else take that leap of faith whatever it is you want do it if it feels like this is too much the the pain caused 
by whatever the situation is. Move out of it or work on it. It's really up to you, Scorpio, whatever you want to do. All right, this is what I have for you. I think you got a pretty similar reading, but this is m much more information uh, last time. Um, I will see you next week, and I hope this all changes for you. All right, see you next week. Bye.